Secretariat of the Pacific Community says the new agreement ensures that Pacific Islanders living with HIV have uninterrupted access to life-saving drugs despite recent global and regional cuts in funding for HIV and AIDS. The cost of the antiretroviral drugs will be borne by the Response Fund supported by Australian and New Zealand aid programs. It says the agreement gives people living with HIV peace of mind as partners continue the program on HIV and other STIs in the Pacific. Back home, according to the National AIDS Council, more than 33,000 people now live with HIV in Papua New Guinea. The good news for people living with HIV comes at a time when funding to Nexus has dropped from 16 million kina to 3 million kina with the rest diverted to DSIP funding. The Global Fund to Fight AIDS, TB and Malaria, which is managed by SPC, is due to close in June this year. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.